Hi, my name is Viv Simmons and today I will be showing you how to do it yourself at home um, to create a natural nail overlay using one of our new glitter dust um, overlay powders which is called Popping Candy. So on my other nails I have used number three which is like a, an opaque glitter. I've prepped the nail prior to starting this tutorial with our soften it and our push it removing any non-living tissue um, or debris stuck on the nail surface. And now I'm just going to give it a light buff over the top with our sponge buffer. Here I'm using our Shape It file and I'm using the 240 grit side, so the softer side. The, um, the softer side will just basically make sure that I do not cause any damage to my natural nail. Um, as long as I don't sit there and keep filing and filing and filing on the same spot. Um, I've just gone around my cuticles and my sidewalls with that file because it gets in a bit closer so that I can make sure that there's, you know, a nice clean surface to work on. Right now I'm applying some Cleanse It with a wipe it pad to remove any dust or debris off the nail surface to get it ready for the next step, which is our glass base and top. So this basically prepares the nail for any application, whether it be an overlay or whether you're doing a um, just a gel polish application. I'm in making sure that I take it right up to the cuticle and the sidewalls without running it in. And always keep your finger angled down so that if it does run that little bit, it'll run down the nail rather than into the cuticles and the sidewall of the nail. I cap the free edge and then pop it in and cure it for 45 seconds. Okay, so I'm applying our Build It Gel. This is a thicker viscosity gel. It's, and what that means is it's a little bit thicker than normal gel in a bottle. Um, it's basically used as a repair gel and a base for our overlay dust. So it's, as you can see, it's applying a little bit thicker. I'm making sure that I'm covering the entire nail and taking it up to the cuticle but not into and also be careful not to run it into the sides of your nail. Cap the free edge and then we're going to be applying the powder over the top. So using the scoop end of the pusher, just sprinkle that over the top. Make sure that you turn the nail on the side so that you get right into those side walls and then I'm just tapping the excess off back into the pot. So get every every part of the nail, make sure that it's, you know, it's well covered. Tap the excess off and then cure for 45 seconds. Okay, so I'm using a soft bristle brush to dust off any excess powder. Um, make sure that you only use this brush on yourself as being a soft bristle it can cross contaminate if you share it with someone else. So that's only for your own use. I've got the overlay dust and I'm going to be applying a second coat of overlay, um, overlay dust. So what I'm doing now is I'm just grabbing some cleanser and I'm putting a little bit of that on a wipe it pad. That's to clean my brush after this application. So I'm applying a second coat of build it over the entire nail because what I want to do is basically create like a little bit of a stronger nail. Um, I'm still keeping it thin but stronger. So I'm cleaning my brush now before I pop it back into the pot. So now I'm sprinkling the second layer of overlay dust, popping candy, over the top and again just making sure I get right into those sides and you know ensure that there's coverage over the entire nail. Dust off the excess and then cure for 45 seconds. Okay, so I'll again remove the excess dust. That's my second coat of overlay powder, but I've only applied it very thin. So you can see from the side, it's a nice even coverage, um, but just a little bit of protection over my natural nail. I'm going to apply a coat of glass over the entire nail now and this is basically going to get it ready so that I can file over the top. So again, just make sure that you cover every area of the nail 
but ensure not to run it into the cuticle and side walls. Cap the free edge and then I just brush back over to make sure that I don't leave a lip. I'm cleaning my brush before I put it in and then cure it for 45 seconds. Okay, so now I'm using the thin file to straighten down my sides or to run down my sides to straighten the sides. So keep the file upright and don't move your wrist. Try and keep your wrist straight so that you're creating like a straight edge. Uh, touching up my free edge, which is the end of the nail, to get my shape. And then I'm switching back over to the Shape It file and the 240 grit, so the pattern side. And I'm going to bring the file up the side of the nail first. Keep the file flat at all times on the nail. Now I'm actually filing really lightly, so it doesn't look like that on the video, but it's only a really light touch. Gel is very easy to file and can be easily overfiled, and then you've got to fill up where you've, you know, removed too much or whatever. So always just, you know, use it with a very light hand. The idea is to smooth out the nail so there are no bumps or anything, and to smooth the nail around the cuticle and side wall so that it's flush with the nail. Okay, so I'm applying some Cleanse It on a clean wipe it pad, and I'm going to clean all the dust off the nail surface. Make sure that you get right in around the cuticles. You don't want to leave any dust on the surface before applying your final coat of glass. So again, not too much. <laughs> um, take it up to the cuticle, up to the side walls or where you know the nail finishes. Don't run it into the side walls and don't run it into the cuticle. Brush down the nail and then make sure you cap your free edge. Then we'll pop it in and cure it for the final 45 seconds. And to finish off, I'm applying cuticle oil around my cuticle and side walls. Um, much needed at this time, you know, with um, all the hand washing and sanitizing. But um, there you go. There's your finished feature nail. So it's fun to mix it up and, and use the different powders to create different effects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now.